this is. This is some serious work, guys. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not even joking right now. This is this is how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, and the guy will tell you no. Look at this camber. See that? This, this one has it's either straight or even a tiny bit of positive camber, I would say. And this one, I'm trying to hold the camera straight. Negative camber, definitely negative camber. We'll see how it's going to look uh, when it's down. It's been a few days, over a week actually. We have a few issues. Uh, remember last time we temporarily fixed the lower ball joint? Did you bring those inserts? Yeah, I got those cones. Okay. Cones, wherever they cones, cones or trends, whatever. We actually took it out. It was dark. Uh, we didn't. We could not see shit. I had a flashlight. And next day, when we parked the car, the wheel was like this. It is like this. We'll show you later. Anyways, we got some new parts. We got a fender. It's not ideal, but it will do. We're going to clean this up. More rust in this area here. And to clean the rust, this is what we're going to use. You basically, well, first you got a wire brush. No, I've been busy. I've been busy. And the first issue is the Subaru design. Yeah, oh yeah, the Subaru, well, first we got to take care of some stuff. So uh, this will be treated by this. It's got to stay on for two hours at least. How much was were these parts? Were the fender, fender, beam, beam, which what, is what in rough oh, shape. Yeah, it is really, really rough, rough shape. Uh, and we got the airbox with the sensor and the intake planner, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, we got yeah the airbox is missing, so we had to get that. Remember, we're staying with uh, we're doing it stock, so we can stay in the lowest group possible. So this we're most likely maybe cut it out here and weld in a new piece because it's rusted through in this area uh i don't know or maybe just leave it like that nobody will see it but yeah we're or maybe just leave it and weld over a piece just to you know make it a little stronger or maybe on top we'll see because we need to be careful because as you install this piece if we were to install a piece on top or the front actually then this will move out a little bit and we may need that room for the front bumper so we may we'll figure something out. yeah or maybe a new l bracket we'll see keep you posted we also have some used shocks we might try and straighten out the one that's on it right now and what else do we get that's it right and oh yeah and those uh transistor inserts no. Tra transverse transverse link. links Transver transverse trans transverse link transverse link <laughs> we got two of those where is the controller what controller the other one we only installed one where's the other one is it in the car oh yeah it's in the car she's let me go in there. All right, we'll keep you posted.
reveal moment. This part is cut it out and now we have to build it back. So uh, we were able, actually I did this, cut out the rusted out piece of a uh, crash bar. I did some measurements and I think I come up with a, like nine and a half inches on a flat surface. So now I'm gonna cut it out and bend it. That's the problem. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that bending thing, but uh, Eventually, it's gonna be bent and then we're gonna weld it back to the crash bar and do some reinforcement on top of that. Uh, we might use this piece to bend it again and uh, weld it on top of that one. But we'll do as we go, so... Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. bigger so we have a lot of uh, voids and we have to I think to close those voids we will have to probably cut it along here and then it will bring the whole repair closer to the beam what do you think or just bend it out and bend it out no you don't want to be able to bend it out what do you mean you'll be you bent it it's gonna be easier to is there anything that attaches to the top or bottom Besides the, the only on uh, up front. Okay, so we have room. 
up and um, up top and uh, on the bottom. So this extra. Or you just want to yeah. li lift it and put it over? Yeah. The less work, the better. You guys missed it. Look. <laughs> He uh, forgot to, or didn't hit record on purpose. Something, the grinder was flying. Look, he actually lost it. <laughs> and it went flying, he caught it by, by the cable. Yeah, nice going. Hey. Sound right, boy. What's going on here? So this is, it turned black. This thing turns black, uh, metal turns black when it uh, starts removing, when it starts working. Got bare metal right here. Still quite a bit over here. But it's starting to flake off. That's gonna have to get welded. I'm gonna clean this up again and do another application. Compare welds. <laughs> uh, this one, these are not mine. These are yours. No. <laughs> yeah. No way. This one's okay. I don't think. Let's see. Let's see your side. Oh man, this is the worst. Too thick. Yeah, you're holding it. <coughs> oh, mm, what's this? This is <laughs> wherever, man. What's what's this one? <laughs> Swiss cheese. Kind of look like this one. Kind of looks like a worm. Man, it's blow out. Right. I'm telling yeah, you. blame it on the on the welding machine. Oh, we got a bend, bend, bend in. See this? Yeah, it's supposed to go the other way. Yep. So the bumper beam bends slightly with the 
bumper cover like this and ours now is going the other way right okie doke different approach on this one not using the paper towel this time I'm gonna let it dry and see if it kind of flakes off but it is better we may just uh, maybe just use this uh, here I'll show you this is good stuff too coral seal converting to metal well it, the metal the rust turns black and then you can paint it and it's rock solid oh yeah before it would crack and and look here is a heavy boy whatever man <laughs> holy moly that's supposed to be you know no gap we got a an inch over an inch gap we'll see we'll probably just trim this here no the bumper will be too loose all right Amber alert. Okay, we're most likely just gonna use brute force. 